Okay, what's up, world? It's your boy, Drew Marcy, rap coach extraordinaire, mentor to the motivated, the scholastic savage, and today we're going to be talking all about the top five things you could be doing as a rapper, as an MC, in order to get your social media and promotion for your career popping in 2017. So without further ado, let's not hold you, let's get right into it. I'll be your host for today. I'm Drew Marcy, and this is How to Rap. All right, so the first thing you should be doing is using live streaming. Use live streaming. This is a huge thing that's going on and it's really gonna go really intense in 2017. Now you've probably already seen the Twitter ads, Periscope, uh, Facebook Live, uh, YouTube Live, all of that. It's only gonna get more intense. It's already gonna be a big, huge land grab for that. So you as an artist should be aware that that is a great opportunity for you to interact with your fans. Now, we've already seen that live events, live uh, showing of anything of importance, sports, uh, you know, Grammys, Oscars, events, it's already hugely important and it's part of the excitement. You know, it's a little bit of a community event for everybody to engage with. But now, thanks to the beauty of live streaming and being able to be right there in your phone, you can interact with your fans, you can interact with your favorite artists without cutting out the middleman. You ain't gotta watch stupid fucking commercials of Purina Cat Chow and dogs doing backflips and all that annoying stuff that you see when you're trying to watch your favorite team. Or maybe you're trying to watch a musical event and you just wanna see your favorite rapper win the best new artist or whatever it is, but you have to sit through hours and hours of some fucking genre you don't even like at the Grammys or whatever it is. This is cutting out the middleman when you have this beautiful thing called live streaming. You're interacting directly with your favorite artist and you, as being the future favorite artist of, uh, of all these fans, you're gonna take advantage of that. Now what's really important about this is uh, certain platforms like Facebook, uh, Instagram through Facebook, even Twitter, are giving special credence, special like privileges in their algorithm so that they're gonna see, you're more likely to see the live streaming. All right, so what that means basically is you're more likely in your timeline to see somebody or your fans are more likely to see you on their timeline live streaming than they would be to do your normal like post of a picture or SoundCloud link or whatever it is. So another reason why it's really important to do live streaming is because you're more likely to be seen by more people. So I would suggest even if you're just gonna be doing a, a quick freestyle or something like that or uh, promoting your new mixtape, whatever it is, use live streaming rather than just a random tweet, all right? Because you're more likely to be seen in the algorithm there, all right? Secondly, Instagram story. It's pretty obvious, but it's an important thing not to neglect. Look, the way I'm saying it, I'm not sure, I'm not no fucking Mark Zuckerberg, I'm not no social media genius, I ain't no Steve Jobs, but I'm telling you, if Instagram can actually get the geo filters and some of those faces for their Instagram stories, like Snapchat, as far as I see it, is pretty much dead in the water. Half of us are already posting more on Instagram stories because it's just easier. You don't want to post twice, all right? So you really want to get your Instagram story game popping. Now, one thing I really like about Instagram stories is the fact that you can change the text color. Uh, you can actually, you know, draw in the background different colors and add, like, color code it a little bit more. Um, they're already adding in the live stream feature as we've talked about. And of course, it's already tied into your Instagram. So anybody who's on Instagram, uh, if you already have a large following there or building one, you already have that built in rather than telling everyone, go to my Snapchat, go to my Snapchat, the way that we did at the end of 2015, going into 2016. So Instagram stories is another big way for you to get popping on your social media. People right now at the taping of this video in December 2016 are watching a lot of Instagram stories. I know I am. So add that to your arsenal. Three, I would say, diversifying the places that you put your music and put and insert your music other than just the normal SoundCloud. There's a lot of issues going around in the media right now about who's gonna own SoundCloud. You know, they're already trying to add in that paid, uh, you know, option subscription. And I can't sit here and say right now, this time next year in 2017, that there's gonna be like this, everybody's gonna be on SoundCloud. It might even get bought out. You know, you already saw Vine is already dead. Like, you never quite know. So I'm also gonna say, be sure to have your music on YouTube. Be sure to try to get your music featured on some podcasts. Be sure to have your music on your Instagram live and your, you know, minute long videos, all of that. So I'm not sitting here saying avoid SoundCloud. It's 
it's still popping right now as of the taping of this video. But I'm gonna say one big tip is diversify where you're placing your music, all right? But whatever you do, just be sure to not be spamming uh, people's fucking comment boxes and spamming people's walls and still doing that shit that we're still seeing people, even though if you ever watch how to rap, I said never do that. And nobody likes you. Like, nobody likes you, Mr. Here, check my song in the fucking comment box below DJ Academics. Nobody's listening to it. Diversify your shit. Get away from just being another SoundCloud rapper. Get away from being a comment box rapper. Really get it together. Four, do a lot of interviews with other rappers. Collaborate with different influencers. If you notice, how to rap is starting to interview a lot of different people. We're gonna be doing a lot more of that. We still got a few more interviews with uh, great freestyle uh, apps about how to freestyle app on, on Instagram and shit like that. Uh, we got some uh, great freestyle legends like Sharon coming up. We've already done some with great producer legends like Busy Works Beats. We're using a lot of interviews. You should follow along. Don't be afraid to do some interviews with other rappers who might have bigger social media platforms or even ones with a little less. You're using the fan bases, sharing fan bases to build a larger fan base in the same way that somebody might not have been a Lil Wayne fan until he got featured on so-and-so song or might not have never heard of Montana of 300 until he went on Panda. Feel like in, uh, interviews and collaborations are gonna be a very positive way for you to get somebody else's fan base in 2017. And lastly, I'm gonna keep it real. I think that political uh, driven, like sort of rebellious uh, kind of content is gonna get bigger and bigger due to, you know, who the president is, Brexit, all of that. The world's changing a lot. Being political, putting out your opinions is gonna drive a lot of traffic in 2017. How to rap, we're not really in that world. I'm not really trying to get into that. You know I like to stay squeaky clean, sort of like my beautiful bald head here. But as a general point, being a little bit more outspoken about your beliefs, I believe is gonna be really big in 2017. And I think that's a way to get some real fans. Like if everyone knows that you're big into Jill Stein or some shit like that, or everybody knows that you're like the MC that's working with Obama now that he's out of office, or if you get that far, all that good shit, you're really gonna be doing well, all right? So your political opinions will be a useful promotional tool, much more than they were in like 2010 or 2011 when, you know, it's the Obama years and if you're talking shit and hip hop about Obama, you're just not that good of a promotional tool. But now obviously it's a little bit easier. I'll just leave it that way. So hopefully this helps. Uh, go back, review uh, in the video description box. We're gonna have all the notes and you can go back and check all the links and all that. But the most important thing is stay very aware. A lot is changing. The internet's changing a lot, especially with all social media platforms. A lot of shit's going on, so you gotta be aware. Take these notes, implement these notes. Just don't watch this and be like, oh, that's really cool, or no, that's really helpful. Don't just say it's helpful. The most biggest thank you you can give us in How to Rat and the big homie Drew is actually implementing it this time. And then this time next year, come back to this video, post below. Now, if you'd like to get coached from me directly on how to use your particular social media, your particular site, we can look over it, go through it step by step with me and rappers from around the world. Be sure to check out our online class, the exclusive group. There's a video link in the video description box below. It's really awesome. I'm there. I work with you directly. Plug, plug, swag, swag. But regardless, hopefully this helps. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace and blessings.